COVID-19, the worst pandemic ever. Everyone, everywhere else, in all forms of news and videos, are covering lots of important things related to COVID-19. But, as not many are covering the much required fundamentals of COVID-19, this channel will cover as many fundamentals as possible in this and coming videos in a simple and better manner which will in turn enable the viewers in understanding the deadly disease in a much better way. Besides, it is immensely important for every human being to comprehend all aspects of COVID-19 as it is affecting everyone in one way or many. Definitions First, let us discuss about the basics regarding COVID-19. What is COVID-19? It is name of the disease caused by SARS-CoV-2 and the full form of COVID-19 is Coronavirus December 2019. The disease name is formed by using first two letters of the respective three words forming COVID and the last two numbers in the end denoting the year of disease origin. And what virus causes COVID-19? SARS-CoV-2. The full form of it is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. The synonyms commonly used in place of SARS-CoV-2 are 2019 Novel Coronavirus, which was used before it was officially named, obviously, as SARS-CoV-2. Thirdly, the name COVID-19 virus is also used by many organizations to further align the virus with the disease and also to avoid confusion with SARS-2003 virus which coincidentally also originated from China. Who named the disease as COVID-19? Who named the disease as COVID-19? Yeah, but who named the disease as COVID-19? Who named the disease as COVID-19? Very confusing, isn't it? That's why WHO is not called as WHO. Like UNSCO is called UNESCO, but WHO is just called WHO, World Health Organization. How WHO came up with the name? WHO, in consultation with experts from International Classification of Diseases, which itself is part of WHO, along with World Organization for Animal Health plus Food and Agricultural Organization name all the newly diagnosed diseases. WHO takes lead if it is a human disease and if the disease is arising in animals or food producing plants and trees, OIE or FAO take the lead respectively. Who names the viruses? It's called ICTV. It has nothing to do with the CCTV in your office and also it has nothing to do with the CCTV, the Chinese media house. ICTV stands for International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses. How ICTV came up with the name? The explanation for detailed process of naming of new diseases and viruses is complex and will take time, which itself calls for a separate video. But anyway, the next flowchart explains it in brief. Once WHO led group decides name for the new human disease, the expert virologists decide the name of the virus. And the ICTV is concerned with designation and naming of virus taxa, that is, species, genus and family of the concerned virus. Why is COVID-19 attracting extensive attention? Is it because 24 million of people have now tested positive for COVID-19? Is it because the actual number of COVID cases could be 6 to 24 times higher than the tested positive ones? Or is it because we have already lost around 900,000 of fellow human beings and the deaths are inching towards a million now? Rather, it is because of the economic and psychological hardships of billions or the millions of people's fight for survival and basic needs like food and shelter all over the world. 
you guessed it right the answer is due to all of the above reasons most of us most of the time don't sit and think about all such issues don't give importance to people other than us people other than the related ones people other than our countrymen at the best if most of us behave in this way it's probably indicating to how most of the humans are still controlled by primal instincts of their primal brains so now we will go beyond this and dissect the actual reasons how and why a given issue draws so much attention becomes important in this particular case the issue being covid-19 the mind for everyone's understanding has worked it out into lists of five each alphabet stands for a word which helps in explaining why any given issue draws more attention than other or why the issue feels more important now let us start with l for life if the sars cov2 virus had only been discovered by scientists or it was only infecting bats nobody would have bothered much about it only when it started infecting 1000 10000 1 million 25 million people the virus gradually gained its importance now we know how much we value life now we will move on to second factor i for intensity common cold affects more people in the world than any other disease almost always having mild symptoms so not noticed much isn't it but when its variant h1n1 starts causing severe form of disease only then people start taking note of the situation and we all know why covid has gained more importance more than either of the above examples now coming to space space is not the outer space we are discussing here but rather the place we live in our space it bothers us when the disease starts affecting in our locality and not when it affects distant countries to people we don't have any contact with for instance in the beginning when covid-19 was affecting only china and italy people and politicians didn't bother much but things surely started heating up once covid-19 also started spreading in our respective countries now coming to t for time unlike sporadic diseases in recent times caused by h1n1 ebola and zika whose spread drops after some time due to various reasons like change in weather covid-19 has continued its destruction for a prolonged period of time due to its sustained infection thus if covid-19 like others was short lived we would have moved on the last one being s for shock the shock factor any issue or adversity about which human beings know enough of on how the adversity is going to affect them it probably will not grab that many eyeballs and thus doesn't shock them or locks the shock factor to further explain on the shock factor for instance innumerable people die every year due to infections by other known viruses like hiv dengue news of which usually doesn't make it to the headlines like covid the sheer unexpectedness of covid made us shiver to our cores and such shocking things will definitely make it to the headlines the shock factor is the last in the list of five which will make sure that it draws our attention when and if the other factors fail to do so with this i hope that life intensity space time shock factors in the list of five has helped you in understanding why covid-19 has become an unprecedented issue i also hope that all the viewers today have understood many essential aspects of covid-19 which numerous makers and viewers usually tend to skip over most of the times to further understand why covid-19 has become an unprecedented issue in the lifetime of any of the currently alive human beings keep watching tejam if you found the video informative like share and subscribe and comment down on what you want to know more regarding covid-19 in coming videos